Hello, good to have you back. We're going to start this lesson by doing some revision on last lesson, which was all about word beginnings. And then we're going to go on to this lesson, which is about word endings. I have written a passage of 80 words with a high predominance of words that begin with the prefixes that I showed you last time. Let's see if you can get them right. So to begin with, one sentence at a time at no particular speed, and then we'll put it all together, two minutes at 40 words per minute. So sentence one, the judge said, I understand that the accused acted in self-defence. So I'm going to start high. V, just a J for judge because it's a special outline, said. I understand that the accused acted in self-defence. I understand that the accused acted in self-defence. And remember the D could be joined or disjoined from that SL for self. Now the second sentence. The evidence against him is transparent to say the least. So, start with the again and another special outline, which is the V under the line, which says evident or evidence. Against him, with the S outside the angle, is transparent, transparent, rounding off that N, to say, the least. Sentence three. We must not automatically assume that the complainant is guilty. We must not automatically assume that the complainant with the PL blend is, and remember guilty can just be G-I. If you wish, you could have used the upward L and then the disjoint T and the I. And the next one, we have now received the statements from the supervisor of the company and the witness and information given is crucial. Now that contains a word grouping I've not shown you before, so I'll teach you that one now. We have now received, so we have would be just the V, now NW, and then SVD for received. I know received is spelt with C and then V and D, but we could put it with the S and write it in exactly the same way that we would write saved. So that could say now saved, but the sense of the sentence will tell you it's received. So if you didn't want to do that, you could write it separately like this, now and then received will be R, C, V and D. But as always, do try to master these shortcuts because they will help you to increase your speed. So if you do that, you could use it for we have received, you have received, or you have received, they have received, which could also be written like this, they have received, and so on. So it opens itself up or lends itself to a lot of common words in groupings. So we have now received the statements from the supervisor of the company, the statements. Now, Mens is one that I'm going to show you later. So you will have written it like this for now, M-N-T-S. But in a moment, I'm going to show you how to write mens 
with a disjoined M slightly shorter than the normal M on the T line, a bit like we did the N on the T line for shun. So in T line brackets, statements will be written by the end of this lesson like that, using the shorter M on the T line for meant and adding the S, of course. So if you've done it like that now, that's correct. That's how you would normally do it before you were taught that word ending. So that's my fault, really, including word that when I've not taught it to you. Receive the statements from the supervisor. Now we did SU for super and then visor last time. Um, of the company, of the and special outline company, CO, and the witness, and the witness, lend in your N. The S can go either side. And information, remember last time I told you that I and Shun says information and intention as a special outline. Given, GVN, let's squash that on there, given, is, you can even put the is there, and then crucial. CR comes together in crucial, but we can't give Cruella any chocolate because all we've got left to write is the shul, which, I've, which is a word ending I have already taught you. So we'd have to put the R in and then the disjoined S for shul there. If we'd have put the S inside, thinking that S for shul inside, thinking I, S, C, R together for crucial, then what you've actually written there is crush, crush. And in fact, the S wouldn't go inside like that. It would, it would look more like that. So crucial, because the, the word ending shul has to be disjoined, then we have no alternative but to put the R in. So that's the end of that sentence then. So let's just read it once more because I stopped a few times to give you new outlines. We have now received the statements using this lens from the supervisor of the company and the witness and information given is crucial. This may not flow um, in as in normal text. It's because I'm trying to include as many of these word beginnings as I possibly can. So the sentences um, may not flow quite as well as they would normally do. OK, we've got um, two more. The next one. Some of the evidence is hearsay and therefore superfluous. So some of the, that V for evidence as well, is hearsay. And special outline therefore that I showed you last time, superfluous, words that begin with super, S-U, and then whatever follows at the side or underneath, so FL blend S, superfluous. And the last sentence, whilst it cannot be overlooked completely, whilst that L will go upwards after the H, and the S inside the curve, it, word from last time, cannot, CN blend, put the O in, B, you can just put the big circle for B, overlooked, remember the little O over the top of, and you change the K to a C to avoid that chip, chop, chip. Completely, CM blend, lift the pen, PL blend, T, kick the L out of it, I. It is, and that lovely phrase I showed you last time, over and above, that which must be regarded as important. That which has lost its legs must be, can go together, regarded as, and special outline, IMP for important. So there are our 80 words. You might like to pause the video, practice any ones that you wrote in a longer way or a more awkward way or that you had to hesitate on. Particularly practice these new things I've shown you today, like now received and the meant in statements. And then we're going to try to see if we can do two minutes at 40 words per minute. Are we ready? The Judge said, 
I understand that the accused acted in self-defence. The evidence against him is transparent to say the least. We must not automatically assume that the complainant is guilty. We have now received the statements from the supervisor of the company and the witness and information given is crucial. Some of the evidence is hearsay and therefore superfluous. Whilst it cannot be overlooked completely, it is over and above that which must be regarded as important. Now we're ready to start on word endings. Of the list of word endings, there are two which we use far more regularly than the others. And so therefore our practice will concentrate on those two. They're not completely new to you because if you take yourself back to week one, when we did the alphabet, we looked at a full A and we learned that the full A says lots of things. It says after. And we looked at that last week in the word beginnings. Um, it says able. It says able to. And it also says ability. Now, the reason we've added ability on is because it's a very common word ending. So when a word ends in ability, we write that disjoined A at the end of the outline. So this would say cape ability. This would say reason able, because there's no such word as reasonability, and so we're having to appreciate that that says able, and it also says ability. So there's capable, and there's reasonable. Now, let's go back to this first one. If I added a little I indicator to the end of that disjoined A, that would indicate to me that I've kicked the L out of it. So that would say capably. However, going back to this one, it says capable, and it also says capability. It only says capably when we've added that final I indicator. It sounds a little bit tricky at first, but when we've done a little bit of practice, it will all become very clear and you'll do it without hesitation. So now will you write for me viable? So you could put the I in there, viable. And that also says viability. If I added an a indicator, it would say viably. Now our second word ending is very similar, 
but it's the full I. So you can guess that if that says Abel, this is going to say Ibel. So let's take a word like this, F-L-X, and the disjoined I would say flex Ibel. But you would also say flexibility. However, if I added an I indicator to it, it would say flexibly, because that I indicator would indicate that we've kicked an L out of it. So this one, VS and the disjoined full I says vis able. It also says vis ability. Again, if I added an I indicator to it, it says vis ibly, because we know that there's an L there that's been kicked out. So I think the best thing to do is to put some words in sentences. And if anyone out there is thinking, I'm not good at spelling, and so therefore I'm never sure whether it's ibble or abble, it doesn't really matter. Because when you do, well, the computer will have a spell check for you, of course, won't it? But when you do an exam, a shorthand exam, you write down whatever comes easiest to you. So if you think it's an ibble or an abble, you just write that down. When you come to transcribe, you're transcribing on the computer and it will correct it for you. So you don't need to worry about whether it's Ibble or Abel. That's if you're not too hot on spelling. So let's write some sentences now. So sentence one, he was capable of anything. So he was capable of anything. Disjoining the ing for thing and writing it downwards. Second one. He was capable of committing the crime. He was capable of committing the crime. Next one. He said he would be available tomorrow. He said he would be available. Up or day before the B. I made that L a little bit too short. And let me just write that again. So I'm going to go A, V, L and Apple like so. I could have done this in T-line brackets. A, V, L and Apple, which was what my intention, but I started too low down, so the L was too small. We've got to keep our strokes in uniform length. So he said he would be available, and then tomorrow is our special outline that we did when we did the M doubles for R. Next one, he said he would be available in the morning. He said he would be available in the morning. Remember when we put in the morning all together, we don't need the N for morning, but it's not incorrect to include it. OK, so I'm going to clean the board now and we'll just do some more sentences using still keeping on with the Ibble and the Abble. So our next sentence. It was a valuable piece of advice. It was a valuable piece of advice. So hopefully you've, you've written it was a altogether valuable. You can put the full U in like you would in value if you wish, but you don't have to. Just VL and Abel will do. Piece of advice. Next sentence, please take your valuables with you. So PL blend, take Y for your special outline, valuables with you. The I of with can be blended into the U, like so. 
Next one. It was easily visible. It was easily visible. Now, with easily, I could have kicked the L out of it and I would have written an outline that looks like easy. And the sense of the sentence would tell you which it is. Um, but it won't perhaps always. So in easily, I usually include the L because you're only left with the ESI. It's easily visible. Next one. There was poor visibility because of the fog. So remember that there, you can do the long THR. There was poor visibility, visibility because of the, now we haven't written because for a while, it's one of those that goes under the line because of the and fog FG. So several things go under the line. There's the V for evident or evidence. Um, there's the C or because, and there's the N for begin or began. All those go under the line, but actually touch the line. Next one. He was visibly shaken. He was visibly. Now this time it's kick the L out of it, so you've got to have the I indicator in, and shaken, S, H, K, and N. He was visibly shaken. Next one, it was a flexible system. It was a altogether flexible, we just joined I for able, and system, we've got no alternative but to join the two S's together with an indicator. And of course the Y is silent, so it's just S, vowel S, T, N. Next one. It was a flexible scheme. It was a flexible scheme. S, C and blend. The player had good flexibility. The, now player, P, L, doubles for R. Had good flexibility. If you're getting a little bit hesitant on the Ability and the Ibly, just ask yourself, is there an L in it? Um, there is an L, of course, in Ability, but it isn't the L before the I, so therefore we can't kick the L out of it. Next one, a plastic card is said to be your flexible friend. A plastic card is said to be joined together, why for your flexible friend, FR blend ND. Next one. I would like to forward the valuables to you. I would like to chop the wood for forward, the valuables, put the U in if you like or not, to you. These types of short sentences are very, very good for practice because not only are they revising this word ending, able, and ible and ability and ability and ibly and ably, but also they're revising other things. And so we've had it was and it was a several times. So it just reminds you of the common things like that, which are crucially important. And the chopping the wood in I would like, and the foot chopping the wood for forward there, and this C under the line for because. So very, very good for practicing other things as well. So that concludes the Ibble and the Apple. As I said, those are the two that we use most commonly, but there are others and we have to learn them. So the next one is words that end in ology. This always reminds me of the um, advert that Maureen Lippman appeared in, which I think was for BT, where she answers the phone and her grandson's telling her that he's got uh, a B in psychology. And she puts it down and says, oh, he must be really clever because he's got an ology. 
So let's have a look at biology then. We've got B-I and we do the O on the T line for ology, just a disjoined O, that's all we do. So psychology would be that. I wonder why we put the I in psychology. It's because it's a distinguishing outline. So it's not confused with sociology. So we have to make a, a difference between those two. The sense of the sentence would never tell us what that difference was. He had a B in psych psychology, could easily say sociology if we didn't distinguish between them. So because of the heavy sounding I in psychology, we include the I for that one. Now, the one that you'll use most regularly, in my opinion, um, in normal language, normal text, is this one. TC and ology for technology. So just techology. Um, now we'll go to others that rare, you won't use these very often, but just for practice. So there you've got an M followed by a TR, then an ology, and then ST is joined on to it. So you've probably read that by now as meteorologist. So that's it for ology, and you won't use it very often. But think about that one and perhaps add it to your special outlines list because that's the one that you're more likely to come across um, than the others, I would suggest. OK, our next one on our list is shill, but we've already done that one. Um, I didn't show you a special outline for shill, which is this one, CM blend and the disjoined shill is a special outline for commercial. And with a join C is a special outline for commerce. I know it's not the shill, but it, it comes in the same group if you're following a textbook through it comes in the same uh, chapter because it's on CM blends so commercial was one I forgot to show you and I didn't show you commerce either so you can add those to your special outlines list but all you have to remember about this shell is that it is written where the outline ends so for example um, partial I was partial to chocolate or um, racial this shell will go where the outline ends. So we have done that. So if you wish to do some more revision on that, you can backtrack to that section. Now I've mentioned meant today, and that's the next one that we're going to look at. I'm going to clean the board so that it's a fresh board for meant. So any word that ends in M-E-N-T, just like when we did shun and we wrote the N of the most common spelling of shun, T-I-O-N. We wrote the N on the T line. Any word that ends in meant, we're going to write that M on the T line. So mo-ment, senti-ment. Payment. Now if I was writing payment, I'd probably put the full A after the P. And you'd also put that full A as well after the H, because you know what I've said to you, down where possible, up where necessary for an indicator. Well, if you came down with the indicator for the A, it, at speed, it might look like a P that's not quite straight. And if you went upwards with it, it would also say pi. So after a P and an H, it's useful to put the full A. So that would say pay meant. So this one would say shipment. What would this one say, do you think? That says detriment. Now, if we change that to detrimental, then we would have to add the L. And the L would go upwards because it goes upwards after an M. So it would also go upwards after a meant in the same way that we put the L upwards after a shun. But if it was detrimentally, we can kick that L out of it, can't we? So that would be this, 
ultra mentally with just the I. And that I tells us that the L's been kicked out. So we don't have to write it. If you do write it, if the L goes up, the I must go upwards as well. What do you think this one says? That's right, instalment, because words that begin with INS, remember we don't put the N in either. So S outside the angle, instalment. And this one finally, document. So any other letters are joined on. So this would say documents. This would say documented, adding a D on, and so on. And we've only got one more left, and that is self. Now, we've done self in the word beginnings, but of course, self comes at the end of words as well. So words that end in self. We're going to do exactly the same as we did in the word beginnings, in that we're going to miss out the F. So let's think of a word that ends in self. Let's take yourself. We know your is a special outline, and all we do is we just add the SL onto it, yourself. Now, this SL would normally, of course, be written downwards, but there are some instances where it becomes more natural to write it upwards. So let me give you an example then. So myself, I write my, I don't need the I indicator, and then SL. Now, because I'm going, I'm going on the road again, and I'm, I'm a, a rally driver, so I'm going round this bend, and I'm going round the roundabout, and I'm going to carry on going upwards. Because if I don't, if I, if I do this, M, S, and then the L, that is awkward. It's awkward to write at speed. So if the curve is already going clockwise, you will carry on going clockwise. If it's already going anti-clockwise, you'll carry on going anti-clockwise. So this would say, myself. This would say, himself, because again, we've already got that clockwise curve, himself. Now, herself would be written like this. Now, why do you think that is? Why have I gone upwards with the L there? Because I haven't gone, I haven't started in a clockwise way. It's a straight stroke, followed by a straight stroke, followed by the curl of the S. So why have I gone upwards with the L? Some of you may have determined that it's because of this. If I did the S and then the L, it would look like an FL blend. A bit like when we did that word grouping as result, as a result, where we didn't write that L downwards because it might look like an FL blend. And incidentally, in that grouping, we didn't have to put the T because we would recognise it because it's such a common word grouping. So going back to this now, herself, it's exactly the same principle. We do H, R, and then the L goes upwards so that we don't write what looks like an FL blend. Remember, shorthand can be as fast as you like, but if you can't transcribe it, it's useless. And so we need to make sure that our outlines are accurate and that they look like we're supposed to read them. That looks like an S and not an FL. And then ourselves next. So it's ourselves this time, there's no such word as ourself. So it's our and then SL. Ourselves would have the final S because it's plural, ourselves. Itself is I-T-S-L, itself. Themselves would be them. And again, you're going round clockwise, so you carry on going round clockwise, themselves. And that's it. So reading them then, we've got yourself, myself, himself, herself, ourselves, itself, themselves. So mainly it's upwards, isn't it? It's only downwards for yourself, 
for ourselves and for itself. The rest of the time, we're going in an upwards direction in order to keep the S circular. So just like the word endings abble and ibble, let's do some sentences to just reinforce that last part of the learning. So we're going to start with ology. So will you write, he studied biology, sociology and psychology. So he studied biology. What's the next one I said? Biology, sociology and psychology. Remember, it's the heavy sound of the I in psychology that makes that I go in. Next one. After all, he was a meteorologist. So that's testing to see if you remembered that from last time, that grouping after all. He was a meteorologist. I think I put the wrong emphasis on the after all there. Um, I think it's supposed to say, after all that, he was a meteorologist. Next one. It is essential to sign the attendance register. So it is essential to sign the attendance register. Next one, please include your initials when you write your name. Please include is now N, your initials when you write, disjoin your T, your name. Next one, the player had great potential. The player had great potential. P, T, N, and that disjoined S for sure. The article was shown in the supplement. The article was shown in the supplement. You can put the I indicator in as well if you wish. I would like to go myself but I am unable to do so. I would like to go myself, but I am unable to do so. Now, and the last one, we take one step forward and two steps backwards sometimes. I'm going up here. We take one step forward is it forward or forwards forward and two steps backward backwards sometimes so chopping the wood there for backward and chopping the wood for forward and I've circled the one and the two because one and two could be confused with other things. At speed, one could look like an H that's too short. Two could look like an ND for need. So um, we are going to do a little bit on numbers next. So I'm going to clean the board now and then I'm going to give you 16 words all mixed up between word beginnings and word endings. See how many of the 16 you can get right. Okay, here's the 16. One of them is a word grouping. Ready? First word, infallible. Second word, social. Multi-story. Self-respect, underscore, terribly, plausible, employment, 
transaction, self-defense, fundamental, specialist, complementary, over and above, themselves, technology. Okay, and here's your answers. Starting with infallible, so it's I, N, I would have gone upwards with the F, L and the above, but if you've done this in, Fal, Ibble, that is also correct. And equally as good, I would say. Next one, social. So you've got SO and you disjoined S for sure, must be written close to it. Next one, multi story. So we're back to word beginnings. M for multi story. Self respect, self at the beginning of a word, still SL. And then remember, respect can be joined or disjoined. I wouldn't have joined the R to the L, I would have done this. But if you have joined that R, it's still correct. Next one, underscore, so little u for under and then score. So you write u, u for under over the top. Some of you may have already learned from the textbook this for under, full u, dr, and written underscore like that. And that's fine. If you've learned it that way, old habits die hard and it's difficult to change to the to the alternative way that I showed to you last time. So don't worry about that. Next one, terribly. Work, new word for today, terribly. And because it ends in L-Y, you need that final I at the end to tell you that we've kicked the L out of it. Next one, plausible. P-L blend together, S inside the curve and the ible. Employment, so E-N, lift the pen, P-L goes through, the Y says Y, because when you say employ, the lips come forward, and then the ment. Remember, the T line is anywhere above where the outline ends, so the ment can be here, 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 as long as it's above where that Y ends. Next one, transaction, so it's tras action, no need for the M. Self-defence, this time I would have probably joined. But did you remember to disjoin your C for words ending in ints there? Fundamental, so fund, I would go down with F before the N, meant, and then the L goes up. Specialist, there's special down there, and then add the S and the T. Complementary, CM blend, PL blend, meant, re. Over and above is a little O and a B. Themselves, new for today, whoops, started with the H. Themselves. And finally, technology, T, C and ology. Hopefully you've got them all right, but don't worry. Even if you've only got half right, you can practice the others as long as you know where you've gone wrong. But if you're not sure, send us a message and we'll explain it again. And now let's just finish off with a few sentences. So sentence one, because of the fog, visibility was down to a few metres and driving conditions were terrible. So because of the, I've joined all together, fog, visibility was down to a few metres and driving conditions were terrible. Next one. He was understandably upset when they said he was not capable of doing the job.
So he was understandably, with the I at the end, upset, all you before the P, because if you put just the U indicator, of course, it merges into the P. S outside the angle. Upset when they said he was not capable of doing the, I just blended the ing of doing with the H of the, and job, J and the big circle for B. Next one. He studied biology and sociology. And his brother studied design technology. So he studied biology and sociology and his brother, B.R. Blend, remember, and that long T for THR, studied design, S inside the curve of the N, no G because it's silent, technology. Next one. It was essential for the initial assessment to be difficult in order to reduce numbers. So there we've got it was essential. Um, when I started to write essential, you couldn't see the E indicator, so I went back and put it in. That's something you should never do. Um, so I just corrected it afterwards. Essential. For the initial assessment, again, I put assessment up on the T line thinking about the meant, but it would go better really on the line. Either's, either's okay, of course, as long as that meant is on the T line. To be difficult, special outline, endure for in order to. There's no need to put the two. Reduce numbers, number is a special outline, NO. And the next one, for a brief moment, he appeared to be sentimental, even though he is fundamentally a strong person with little sentiment. So I'm going to squash this on this bottom line and hope it goes on. For a brief BR blend, so the F goes inside moment with the M on the T line. He appeared. And there's the D of appeared. I'm going to use it for the T of two and just stick the B on. So that's appeared to be sentimental. The R goes upwards there. Even though he is fundamentally a strong person, even though he is fundamentally, you can kick the R to fundamentally, a strong, S to T doubles for R, that's doubled with an ong at the end, person, person with little mm. sentiment. Just about squashed it on. I hope I haven't made it so close that you can't read it. Um, let's read it together again. For a brief moment, he appeared, and the D of appeared is the T of two, and put the B on, appeared to be sentimental, upward after the meant, even though he is fundamentally, kick the L out of it, a strong, with an ong, person with little sentiment. So that concludes our word endings. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please 
Go back and keep practicing and practicing to make sure that you've got them all right. We'll do a little bit of revision on them at the beginning of next time, and then we'll move on to representing numbers. So see you again next time. Before I see you again, don't worry, don't stress. Love T-Line together. <laughs>